When we start out learning, we're so focused on what our racket and our racket arm is doing that sometimes we forget about what our non-playing hand's doing. And sometimes you'll see beginners especially with their arm down almost dead next to them and trying to play strokes. So why do we need to improve this and where's the ideal position for your non-playing arm? If I have my arm down here, what tends to happen is that this whole side of my body isn't working to help me. As soon as I start to engage my, left, my right arm, then I'm starting to get a bit more balance and now I can start to utilise the whole of my body and the whole of the upper part of my body to play the stroke. It doesn't have to be a big movement, it's just the balance to make sure that both halves of your body are working to help you with the stroke. As you start to increase the speed of the stroke, you can really use your non-playing arm to rotate your body a little bit faster around. A really good idea is to just video yourself playing and you'll be able to then see what your free arm looks like. In your um, gameplay, sometimes it's difficult to have that awareness of what's happening with the other side of your body. So when you're thinking about your free arm, think about how it's going to help you to remain balanced and then also help you to start to increase the speed of your strokes by using the rotation of your upper body. And don't forget, you don't need to have a big movement with your free arm. It's just used for balance.